So about 250,000 women are diagnosed every year with breast cancer. That's one in eight women, or one woman every two minutes is diagnosed with breast cancer. So one of the questions that I get asked all the time are what are some of the risk factors for breast cancer? And one of the most common assumptions is that you have to have a family history to have breast cancer. And while that's very important to know and it's exceptionally important to know your family history, the number one risk factor is being a woman and getting older. The majority of patients that I see, their risk factor is simply that they're a woman and women over the age of 50, 55 are at an increased risk for breast cancer. But what are some of the other things and what are some of the more modifiable risk factors? So having a child is protective, particularly before the age of 30, although I know that for many professional women, including myself, that's very challenging. Breastfeeding can be protective in terms of decreasing a woman's risk for breast cancer. Certainly maintaining a healthy weight. One of the things we know for cancer overall, and this is kind of shocking when you look at the demographics, particularly in the United States, but obesity is overtaking tobacco as the number one risk factor for all cancers. And why is it also a risk factor for breast cancer? Because we believe that being in a state where you're overweight even, produces a, a state of chronic inflammation. And that chronic inflammation can release certain chemicals that can increase a woman's risk for breast cancer. Similarly, fat cells can make estrogen. And about 60% of breast cancers are driven by estrogen. So if you imagine even children that are overweight, they may be going through puberty much earlier and their lifetime exposure to higher levels of estrogen over their lifetime is going to increase their risk of breast cancer. We know that doing at least 30 minutes of exercise five times a week will decrease a person's risk for breast cancer because if a person is thinner, then their risk of cancer is significantly less. Thank you.